What's going on Warriors? It's your boy Shin Ryu back again with another video and today we're going to be continuing the series that I mentioned we're going to start and that's going to be pretty much uh, my state of play okay this is going to tell you how far I've gone in the account as a free to play what I have done so far um, my current level of progress up across the board and uh, pretty much uh, what I'm looking forward to um, in terms of like you know perspective characters protect perspective team lineup team lineups and all that kind of stuff okay so we're gonna get into it uh, if you guys like this kind of content you know go right ahead and smash like you know and i'll totally appreciate to subscribe to the channel as well help me grow that way i can make a contents like this i can put it out there on uh, youtube and it's algorithm can pick up my contents and actually share it more okay totally appreciate you guys go right ahead into the video right let's go into the home button real quick here okay this is gonna pretty much um set my main power okay the total overall power that is across the board you know that's gonna be 20 m as you if you guys watched my previous video what I was at was about 7984 K but uh, as you can see that definitely looks like a huge bump pretty much the hugest uh, the most huge uh, hugest whatever I want to say profile uh, um, um, jump in terms of like my progress and this is all down to the fact that i was pretty much hoarding my a frags okay and i eventually used all of them and of course upgraded characters got multiple triple s's and all that good stuff okay and the other thing i actually haven't mentioned but this one is going to be key going forward is going to be the total power okay total power apparently that's supposed to be the sum of the power ratings of your strongest six characters okay your top six and the reason why i'm actually mentioning this is because obviously as you guys are going to know eventually you're going to be seeing what my potential line is supposed to be like it's already something that i've already set up in terms of like you know like i advise you guys you guys can also save that and that way you can be focused on how you can get that character going and uh, on the list right now only one character pretty much is on that list and that is mad ryu and of course as you guys remember he was supposed to be replaced before but that's not happening anymore um he's pretty much going to be joining the lineup and i'll explain it on that i'll get on that uh later okay all right the next thing we're going to be talking about is going to be pretty simple just a brief look at it i'm currently on 122 previously i was on 106 all right and the other part where i think i made the least progress is going to be my challenge here last time when i actually discussed this i was on 24 40 right now i'm only just in 28 13. that is in no fault due to the fact that my characters have been difficult but it's been based on two things all right i've sort of like not super focused on the challenges and even when i have um where i could have possibly used assist units to actually bypass a level um i sort of like was a bit complacent i didn't really care about it and then just a steady unit kind of like went over okay and why am i talking about assistant units it's gonna be let's just go over here it's gonna be about bison here okay let's first of all clear this line up here and just put some this was supposed to be an experiment i was trying somewhere but let's this is what my current lineup looks like right now okay okay you're gonna be seeing a surprise inclusion here and you're gonna be wondering why that is the case uh who's supposed to be the third person i feel like this okay obviously bison all right and we're gonna be getting to bison in a minute which has to do with my loans okay and of course the last person my boy my main man evil ryu okay all right so this is pretty much what it's like uh, primarily and of course you know for assist i still go with uh viper for mad ryu and then i go for you know b zangiv and i'll of course i'll explain that you guys probably already know what his assist does but i explain that in fully detail shortly okay so if you look at my bison right now it's pretty much an s plus all right now it gets to a point where you need to get bison to at the, at the bare minimum ss plus because you want to unlock you know the fighting soul and that fighting soul gives you added damage to your team lineup okay um missing that out on that actually is a huge you know beamer uh, a bummer and not only that you know he's um you know he's he's inferno um can't is really really op when he starts getting killed and then his immunity kicks in and he starts blasting everybody here okay but you know i've included i you know um every out of sentiments but also because he's actually been decent since 
as you guys can see right now i'm on level 280 which is going to my next point here but let's go right ahead and do a battle real quick here so i don't have to start resetting realign uh, those uh, people all over again as you can see here um i have my production typically some refreshing blanket here it's just going to be a quick round i'm just trying to show you guys that i'm not exactly stuck okay i'm gonna go right here and just try to protect myself from this healing because they tend to one shot a lot now you know see viper on the other side i'm just gonna go here fortune blanket is gone but you know and that kind of and there goes like part of my combo i'm gonna need to okay We should still be able to win. Come on, good boy. All right, yeah. So, um, just trying to let you know that it's not like I'm stuck or anything. I just kind of like just put that on standby. I'm going to do that later. All right. Uh, whenever this task comes in, I don't want to like forget about it. Now, this is what my true potential lineup looks like. Okay, I'm actually even glad that that task came up. Okay, that way I don't have to go into this later. This is what my potential lineup looks like right now. As you can see, if there's no longer in the support slot, he is now pretty much on the main roster okay and the reason why is because as we all know right now if ryu is kind of like a bison killer and one of uh mad ryu's flaws was his continuous bombs whenever he takes bison out would continuously continually provide the you know um blast that bison pretty much emits and as a result taking out your team no, without purpose, okay. But using my Ryu strategically and getting rid of him will definitely change that. And yeah, I'm looking forward to trying it out. I've tried it out a bit, it seems to work. So, you know, we'll continue with that here, okay. So, this is pretty much what I want my potential lineup to look like. Um, do I want him here? Here, uh, I'll leave him here for now. It's all good because it's not really given. He adds obviously some stats to it, but you know, it's more about he's no mirror image all right so let's go right ahead and let's just test my i typically use this mode because you know to test out how far i've gone so far and you're gonna see if we can actually do it quickly all right all right cool and this is a bunch of S and S pluses on just one, you know, um, trip, um, triple S plus four, who people don't rate highly. Yeah, but I do rate him. So let's go right on and let's continue what we're talking about here, okay? I could have just picked this, you know, here for hours. Oh, nice. Very nice. I come over, please, if he doesn't have one already. Um, yeah, let's keep going here. And um, next step here, or next up I want to talk about, you know, is actually... You know the supreme fist you know my progress in supreme fist uh, i can't remember what i was on last time but you know this time around we'll try and pay attention to that here okay um if you go over to supreme fist here I, I i sort of like became redundant in it for a long time until when you know i broke the limit and then was able to like go above 240 then i came i try to rush everything up i haven't even done for fire today but we're going to go into the fire first of all because as you guys can see back here, 317, 163, 165, 125 respectively on the Supreme Fist and Thunder, Wind, and Flame Faction, okay? That's how far I've gone with regards to that. But with the Flame Faction right now, obviously it's been one of the weaker factions, but, and I had my priority, first of all, with regards to the roster. Let's first of all go over to, you know, um, just isolate the flame guys initially it was sea viper as number one priority okay then it was dalzim okay then it was i believe was um who was number three i think it was you no know, uh between aaron and Felong. you know both of them let's just give them three four whatever then it was um dicapri and i think i was strong between hugo you know um mia cody and you know and 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 dudley right but now it's a bit more clear with you guys are the top five all right because uh we've got you know summer yang now who's pretty much taken out you know the two you know the uh the redundant regular yang okay he's really good yeah i'm sure you guys pretty much experienced experience him already and i'd love to get him off to 
S S. Yeah. Um, here's the thing. I don't do you know that uh, choice recruit because I find it too expensive. I believe anything that has to do with you know pulling outside the you know faction recruit and the standard recruit and of course the friendship recruit would be divination okay that's the only way i'm going to pull in gems otherwise i'm going to be depending on random units coming up and then hopefully building the best space on the random units that i have available all right um so so yang has been i've been lucky to, to to pull the character you know and um it's been great with that um speaking of luck in pulling characters uh let's go over to Mad Ryu here, okay. I was extremely lucky when it came to the initial pulls with Mad Ryu. All right, uh, I believe my first at least six pulls I had I, I, by the time I was on my seventh or eighth pull, I think I already had him on S. All right, that means I pulled like six. All right, after that, I think I pulled like you know, um, at least I've made tons of you know, um, bulk pulls, you no know, 10 pulls of 10, like you know at least eight times and at least seven times and i haven't pulled any since then so i'm hoping that with the mini bad luck you know that luck is run out that luck has ended and and the, the bad luck rather has ended and now we're going to go back into the good luck phase but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to be pulling i'm going to be pulling once i have 20 once i cap 20 i just pull both of them that way i, I don't know Peace of mind, it works out great, doesn't work out, you know, grind again. It can be quite frustrating once you pull multiple times and nothing pops up. But that's the direction I'm gonna be going with right now, okay? And that's really um no um every you. Let's go right ahead and talk about Thunder Fraction. This is a lot more this is no, let's go to Flame Fraction. Then this is the one that is very, very clear in my eyes, okay? So we have you know pretty much uh B Sangive you know, number one. You know, because we've got uh, Street Poison number two, um, we've got Gao number three, we've got Chun Li number four, we've got um, Cameron number five, and we've got Abel number six. Pretty much it. I like Guy, all right, and he's not going to be considered as food, but everyone else is food, all right. We're not even wasting time here. There isn't too much mix up here, all right. And um, but the flames here, the food obviously is a bit it is it's totally is now food i was a bit you know, skeptical about using him uh, i'm still crossed between hugo and um mia cody but i want to make sure i first of all go right ahead and study their assist because that's where i'm more concerned about um for them it's just about the assist and hugo i just want to make sure i have at least one tank you know wow because you know obviously when you get higher i think you might certainly need to attack to protect you some of is doing a good job with you know with the board and everything but that's typically not enough and here's where my most confusing fact is but i think i'm a little bit more set on that now and i'm going to be going ahead to prove that over in this video okay let's go right ahead and select the thunder faction here number one obviously is mad ryu that's not without a question number two is alina and number three a very very close number three and number four pretty close are zangief and e hunter uh in whatever you know uh, direction i really don't care uh, i'm going to i'm going to be interchanging it based on how i feel based on how the rng goes to play it um e hunter and zangief e hunter is going to be for now the primary you know um defensive unit and then of course we're going to go with um zangief as a support uh the primary tank and that's going to be support tank right there uh <clears throat> what else do i want to say here uh he has three and four now five and six is where it is a bit funny all right of course it's very clear we only have like what 10 units in the thunder overall i mean nine units in thunder overall uh what are the other nine what are the other three we've got street we've got poison we've got makoto all right and then who is the last person there's somebody else that i haven't mentioned yet unless i do not have them anymore because they're definitely food there's a ton of character that is food for sure uh that ying is he, he's, no i think that's his wind uh who's it gonna be so let's see we're gonna count one two three four five six seven oh yeah um charming dudley yeah <laughs> uh, that's that's how bad he is i can't even remember who he was but pretty much the confusing unit right now has been between Gal, Combat Gal, right and Blanca. When I play for now, I kind of like lean towards that. I feel like my 
AoE on the third slot is more effective for Combat Gal than the AoE that occurs for Blanca. All right. Um, however, I think I'm a bit leaning more towards Blanca because you know, obviously, once you get to the triple S, it starts to become more and more important. And here's what I mean. Uh, with let's look at the fighting soul, for example. Uh, let's go right ahead and fight her, and let's go right ahead in uh, the gallery so we can actually look at him because I don't have him that unit yet. Okay. Um, let's see, Blanca, looking at the fighting soul. See, it says um, not, let's not look at it. The um, assist yet uh, says after unleashing electric claw, the fight against the shield, which is pretty good. Electric shield, ultimate get electric shield. That's pretty nice, pretty nice stuff. All right, let's get combat gal. His zone is a bit meh, so I think that's where he loses there. And the other thing is, I think they're both two and threes. Are they both two and threes? Let's uh, see, so where is Blanca? No, Black is actually one and two. Yeah, he having a three, but I'm not going to use three. I'm going to use three mostly with Mad Ryu. I just need this two. All right, and Black already has that two. So we're going to go right ahead and uh, separate their level by putting Black on SS right on this video. Okay, so as you guys can see right now, Black is up a level, which is great. All right, so now we're going to go on to the next thing in terms of like my progress right now. That's and I've already touched on you know my priority in terms of the squad and building the squad and everything. All right, um, I mentioned before in the past that you guys want to make sure that you actually have you know lightsaber bookmark. Let's go right ahead and just do a challenge real quick here, okay? We're not have presets for your factions. All I did, all I have right now, my my top three you know whatever and then i'm trying to create you know uh, who i would want to use as a potential lineup for you know um bosses so that's where i'm actually prioritizing in terms of like my presets right now the reason why i've done that is because with regards to trying to set a preset for you know the factions you're only going to need those faction presets if you're actually playing Powder Trials, if they say you fix a particular unit, which I need to actually start going through this Powder Trials right now. I've been pretty calm on it. I haven't even started yet. All right. And we're still 21 days, so maybe that's why I'm not too desperate. But more importantly, when you go into the Supreme Fist, all right, um, they're already there by default. So that's pretty much why I haven't bothered much about it. Uh, so this is the unit that I'm using right now. I'm going to go right ahead and try it out. Okay. Um, the last time I played this, he wasn't on triple s let's go right ahead do this do this do this actually i feel like i could actually auto this go again two three i actually love how it's like you know just go across board one two three four just the way they're lined up pretty cool so i'm gonna go right ahead and we'll do all i'll do all that one later this is strictly pretty much my state of play where i have where I am right now and so now if you guys remember this is now the final bit of everything here okay if you guys remember before priority character obviously the next character that I want to purposely put up to the triple S class all right and typically these are characters that would require you to use either special summons or divination okay the last time around if you guys remember it was Akuma right but as you guys know right now, and you guys probably already guessed it, the moment he was announced, and with all my other videos coming out, it's been Mad Ryu. I mean, Evil Ryu. Uh, and it's Evil Ryu, and it's definitely going to be him. I don't care what character to release afterwards. The only character that can actually make me think twice is he has to be under a version of Ryu, because I'm thinking of... I'm dreaming of building a team of reuse eventually it's gonna be crazy however it goes still a long way to go in the game but you know with the rate that with the releasing characters don't rule it out okay so we have to reuse right now right now one of them has to be food until when i fed you know the every other person which would be a long time because obviously i'm free to play all right so we can't actually rush that stuff right so every is obviously my priority right now i already explained the journey so far as but struggling a bit like i said whenever i hit every 20 i'm going to be pull right now i'm on 16 so i'm going to wait till i actually you know get to 20 then i'll pull I actually was thinking of another idea maybe not that maybe every time i hit a perfect zero 
that I pull so that I have nothing and I don't have to be building single ones. That actually sounds more interesting. Let's see how it goes because obviously my next three is going to be, I'm going to be at 19, next three is going to put on 22, um, then of course it's going to be 25, 28, 31, but if there's other means of getting the card, then of course something happens. So for now, we still we're going to go in the two pool. I'm going to try the two pool for a bit. If I'm not running the lock in three attempts, then I'm going to bail out of that, okay? Because that will mean an extra 60 special summons without Avery. review. That's going to hurt. But yeah, that's pretty much it with regards to that. And now the final bit of it. If you guys remember last time, I had Fashion Blanca. I had, you know, Street Poison, I had Mad Ryu, and of course I had Bison in my primary lineup, and I believe I had um, C Viper and um, B Zangief supporting, just like that. The only difference right now has been, I've sort of like temporarily, she's still in my main lineup, or he, you want, however you want to call it. Street Poison is still in that lineup, but I pretty much have put, you know, E Ryu for now, because it's still sort of like a bit viable, right, despite the fact that it's a bit tough. All right, because it's not as effective as S, but you know, being on a higher level got me tempted to try him out. And typically, obviously, I'm not using his full tension because typically, once I have him at minimum SS, I want him to start the combo. Okay, I don't want him being outside here being protected because I don't want him to lose him. So that's supposed to be the plan for that. But as you can see, what you guys are that right now, I'm still doing okay because I have. Mad Ryu, we got Blanca, and of course, if Ryu is coming in to assist whenever it's required, and boom. That's about it, man. So that's pretty much it with regards to my team and state of play where I am right now. Um, the other stuff, I'm just going to just wrap them up real quickly. Let's go into the Explorer faction here. It's Inverse World. I believe I have sort of like cleared all this, but I need to switch this now to 32, which I'm going to try now that I've actually broken that limit break section. All right. That's one thing you need to know about that. Next thing that's probably going to matter more um, is... Let's see here, the limit break, as you can see, I'm already at this point right now where I can actually use this energy fusion here, and we can move him up to the next level here. This are very, very limited resources. Yeah, you guys are going to come to know. I have about three extra slots right now, but I'm very, very, like, I'm holding out to see who I'm going to select, because I think pretty much, if I look at my limit right now, let's not sort it based on rank, let's sort it based on faction all right i have one two three four five six seven on the you know wing i've got one two three four five six seven on the thunder i've got one two three four five, six seven seven on the flame and of course i've got one two three four for master and four four that doesn't really matter because there's no restriction on those okay but that's pretty much it i think these characters here are pretty much all i need to focus on right now anyone that's outside it probably hasn't merited it yet um ex moves i've sort of struggled on that i haven't been able to pull that even when i actually had the chance to do two multis and about three or four singles didn't work with the ex moves i'm going to try and stack up again and see if we can actually be luckier next time uh but otherwise that's pretty much it from me with regards to my current state of play here um and once again just make sure give you guys a disclaimer about my free to play status all right i'm pretty much free to play that's pretty much all i do the only thing i've actually ever spent money on which was pretty much the beginning of the game was when i was offered the was it a dollar 99 or just 99 cents whatever what it was plus the first grant which is about ten dollars i think and that's pretty much it just try it out and what the grant does pretty much if you look at the grants i think it just gives you some extra shads or whatever for the bit time bit um but yeah that was pretty much it and um otherwise in the end this game is pretty much still no a bit of luck when it comes to drawing characters Draw, I mean drawing the characters that you want okay um when, as a free to play player, you can build a good roster. As you can see right now, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, um, triple S, of course, including Blanca because it's been linked. Uh, my brother has got, has got 14, so you can definitely do it as well. Um, it's very fun. And one other mode that I 
actually actually you know just sign out with this i ignored but actually exists which definitely helps while i'm working is for example let's go to the supreme fist the flame faction here my brother actually told me about this i don't know why i actually didn't pay attention to this at all okay you guys don't have to always start it up you guys probably know i don't know why i didn't know this before but if you hit this consecutive challenge i never knew but to wonder what it was about i hit confirm all right you won't have to worry about actually you know about actually following up right all you just do is you can just put your stuff on the side the team attacks on its own and of course team is done it's gonna round up the next move and continue for you without you having to bother about just continuing stuff right there you go with that uh otherwise it's your boy shin for you uh signing off on this video want to tell you guys thanks you know for the views for the comments and i want to tell you guys that you know please like the video please subscribe please share the video with your friends and i want to actually please provide a duel or just likes watching you know games like this help my channel grow because i really appreciate you guys so that way i can keep on creating more content and youtube can actually recommend my videos to the viewers out there i'll see you guys again shortly otherwise have a good one and peace